Oh, dear. Ah, I've got this mole, you know. Right. It's making a hell of a mess of my garden. Well, it's, 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 it's strange, really, because, like, I bought a house out in the country about a couple of years ago, and I, and I inherited this mole. Right? And, like, well, being Birmingham born and bred, you know, I, well, you don't come across a lot of moles in Birmingham, to be honest. Like, found a mole in Birmingham, they'd eat it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> I bought this house, like, and this mole, this, this mole has, has driven me mental. I tell you, like, if, if ever I cop hold of it, I'll bury it alive. I tell you. <laughs> the mess they make, it's like, I spend hours on my lawn rolling it and cutting it, you know, and getting it all level on, and you wake up next morning, like, <laughs> zits all over your lawn. And I've tried everything to get rid of it. Well, the thing is, I mean, first of all, you think, oh, mole, get rid of the mole. See? So you go along to the hardware shop and you say, can I have a mole trap? Thing. Sensible. And uh, they sell it you with one of those knowing he'll be back smiles. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and you give him like a, <laughs> no, I won't. And, uh, this, and the mole trap's like a big metal thing and you have to bait it with worms. <laughs> you know? I use spaghetti, I hope they wouldn't notice the difference. <laughs> So I got, got this trap and baited it with worms and things, and I put it into the run and covered it all over. See, and the mole came along, right, and ate all the worms and shoved the trap out the way. <laughs> That's not playing the game, is it, really? No, no. And uh, I tried it for about four or five months, you know, like, and, uh, and like the mole stopped digging because I was feeding him all the bloody worms. <laughs> so I went back to the hardware shop and he gave me his... <laughs> and uh, and he, he, he sold me a box of fireworks, right? And uh, it's called mole smoke. Yeah, and they're like, they're like Roman candles, you see. And like, what you do, you light the end, and you stick it down the hole, you see. Like, and, and the smoke, which is heavier than air, lies in the run, is poisonous, and kills the mole. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> the moles love them. Oh, you can hear them. <laughs> I've got a purple one. <laughs> And people have got these loopy ideas how to get rid of moles and things. And, and this place, there's only one way to get rid of a mole. He says, you've got to shove garlic and mothballs down the holes. <laughs> they don't like the smell. Really? Yeah, it never fails. So I was there, four ton of the stuff. <laughs> they ate the lot completely. <laughs> oh, immense. Bigger mole you know, like. And this other bloke comes, he said, there's only one way to get rid of a mole. He says, you've got to buy those little wooden windmills. And I don't know, you know, those, those long wooden stick things, and it's got a plastic bit on the end which whirs round in the wind. He says, you stick it down the middle of the molehill till the end gets in the hole. He said, and when the wind sends the wordy bit round, it vibrates the stick and the noise scares the mole away. <laughs> I stood for it. I stood for it. I had 200 of them in my lord. First gust of wind blew the fence down. Boom. <laughs> so it was um, just a while. What, when I finally gave up, it was a while ago. And I was in the, I was in the local boozer, you know, and uh, I was in the bar area. All the yokels come in there, and I was just sort of having a pint. And uh, this bloke came in, you see, and he came up to me. He said, "Here, I hear you got a mole." Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's only one way to get rid of a mole. Blow its bloody head off! <laughs> Say, what sort of... <laughs> he said, no, with a 12-bore. I said, I've never seen the thing. How am I going to shoot it? He said, oh, cost you a night's sleep, mind. Yeah, he said, yeah, what you got to do? He says, you've got to stay up all night in your garden. He said, when it's quiet, Molly likes it nice and quiet. He starts digging. When he starts digging, he starts throwing his earth up on your lawn. When he's doing that, he's only half an inch from the top. Get you old 12 bore, 
Line it up. Boom! <laughs> Deader. <laughs> I said, it never fails, never fails. I said, right, where can I get a 12 volt? He said, oh, if you borrow mine for a fiver. Okay, okay. So he came round this on a Sunday, strangely enough. And uh, he bought this great big 12 bore, you know, and, and a great big box of cartridges, like enough to do a bank raid, you know. And uh, so it was like 11 o'clock, right? 11 p.m. on a Sunday night. There I was, I got this great big 12 bore, and I've strapped a torch to the barrel. Clever, huh? So he strapped this torch to the barrel, really. And I got a, a revolving stool, you know, and, um, and I was there. And all the neighbours are watching him. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know, I don't know. Imitating a lighthouse. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was there like, it was about 3 a.m. in the morning, you know, like I'm on this stool. And suddenly I heard ch -ch 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 -ch. And there was this earth coming out on top of my lawn, about five yards ahead. I got me 12 more. <laughs> bye bye, Molly. <laughs> the thing is, I know this sounds stupid now, <laughs> but I'd never fired a 12 more in my life. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'd flew 10 yards off my stool <laughs> and shot all the apples out my tree. I was furious. I was possessed. I was in... light. <laughs> These two coppers standing there like... <laughs> what are you doing, Carrot? <laughs> Mole catching! <laughs> So they wandered over, you know, and uh, I took him inside for a drink. And uh, <laughs> always popular, that. And uh, the one guy was very sympathetic because he'd, he'd had a mole. And uh, he sort of said, he understood, you know, and carry on, but like, be quiet. <laughs> Bloody great 12 ball. So I'm now looking for a 12 ball with a muffler. <laughs> Fucking hell bad. But, uh, they do, they send you bonkers. They re really? Whew. I mean, it's there now. Digging. My garden. But they've got me beetroots now. What's on tonight? Beetroot? Oh, great. Oh, I love beetroot. It's not as good as mothball and garlic, is it? Oh. And then pie works, we can see what we're doing there. Someone's nicked me harmonica. <laughs> 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 